Apple's latest Mac update is here. Here are my top new features of macOS Monterey. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew. You can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my favorite new features amongst many coming to your Mac with macOS Monterey. Let's go ahead and just dive into this. The first new feature that I wanna check out is a great update to FaceTime. All we're gonna do is launch the FaceTime app. As you can see, we're gonna use that built-in camera on our iMac. I'm gonna head up into Control Center and we have this little option for video effects. I'm gonna click on that and enable portrait mode. And as you can see, it has already been applied. I have this wonderful background bokeh that follows me around. It's obviously not perfect, but it does a great job of giving me that natural look as I'm taking a FaceTime call. So whether you are remoting in for work or you're remoting in for school, anything like that, you can use this wonderful background bokeh. It makes your rooms look better. You got a messy background. Don't worry, just add that portrait effect and a little bit of blur back there. Anytime you don't want it, go ahead and turn that off. So that is my first new feature here that I love in macOS Monterey, updates to FaceTime. Now let's go ahead and open up Safari. Safari has been a wild ride during this beta phase, but one little feature that I am just in love with is called tab groups. If we open up the new sidebar here, or we can use the dropdown, I can create a new empty tab group. And you can split these up with whatever you want. So I can make one for just social, and I can use this one to go to Twitter can use this one to go to Twitter. So I can keep uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is that you wanna pull up in social, you can keep in that tab group, but then you can create a new tab group and I could just call this one work. And then I can head to places that I had during a normal work day. So I'm of course gonna be reading, uh, you know, Apple's website. I'm gonna be going, you know, of course to Apple Insider. We're gonna be checking that out. So all those are in this tab group. So I've got these tabs open in this tab group and I can jump to my other one. So you can break it up based on time of day. I could have one for just my banking stuff. I can have one for work stuff, social stuff. Anything that I wanna split up into these different groups and they sync across all of your devices. So I've got them here on my Mac, but I also have them on my iPhone and my iPad as well. Let's talk about focus. We're gonna go back up there to control center and we're gonna click on focus where I can choose from several different focus modes that you can create. So here we just have basic uh, do not disturb mode, but we can create additional focus modes. So I can create a custom one. I can make one for gaming, for mindfulness, personal time, reading, work, and all of those can get custom settings. So maybe while I'm in gaming mode, I don't want anyone to be able to message me, but I want to allow uh, my controller to turn on automatically. If I go into work mode, Perhaps I also want to limit who I'm talking to, um, but I want to make sure I can get Slack notifications and the like. Or if I want to go to personal, I want all of my notifications and social media stuff to be able to flood in, but I don't want to get work emails or uh, work coworkers messaging me uh, or even other notifications. So I can block all of those out and make sure I'm separating my time between work, personal, and any other of these focus modes that I create and focus modes too sync across your devices. So I can set a focus mode here on my Mac and it'll automatically take effect on my iPhone and my iPad and vice versa. So no matter where you create them or where you enable them, it'll work on all of your devices. Of course, you can also turn that off if you don't want it to sync between your devices. Ready for this one? This is Quick Note and this was one of my favorite features on iPad and it's even more amazing on the Mac. Let's go to that lower right hand corner and a Quick Note appears. So you can just drag to that lower corner, kind of like a hot corner, and I can click on new quick note. It'll go ahead and pull up a quick note and I can jot some stuff down. Great, I just made a quick note. But what's nice about quick notes is that they sync across your devices. It almost has a little folder right here at the top devoted to that. But if I want to take note of something like these different versions of MagSafe, I could highlight this. I can even right click and hit add to quick note. When I go back to the notes app, I can open up the quick notes folder. I can see the note that I added. It's got that nice quote of text in there and the link back to the article I was reading. I can click on that and it'll take me directly to the article and even where I highlighted that text from. Quick notes are easy to create and easy to access from anywhere. If you ever worried about having to create a note, you now can do it with quick note without having to worry. AirPlay is amazing. And with macOS Monterey, not only can your Mac AirPlay to other devices, 
but other devices can airplay to your Mac. It is super handy. Maybe you want to just show what you've got on your iPhone screen, on your Mac's bigger screen, maybe your Mac is connected to a projector, or perhaps you just want to use the speakers that your Mac is connected to. Whatever the reason, you can do it now in macOS Monterey. I've got my iPhone here and I'm just gonna go. You can do two things. You can mirror your screen, which is what I'm gonna do right now, or you can just cast your audio. I have a little alert that shows up in the corner here and I'm just gonna hit accept. I have a little code that I can put into my phone to make sure it's paired and boom, I am now mirroring onto my Mac. It is that easy to do. Go ahead and stop that just by tapping on the little blue icon there or going back here and hitting stop mirroring. Have you ever wanted to sell or give away your Mac when you were done with it? Well, it always involved like this laborious process of formatting the drive and reinstalling and it was a pain in the butt. However, on things like our iPhones, it was always pretty darn easy to do. You just head into settings and factory reset your iPhone. But with Mac OS Monterey, you can do now the same thing with your Mac. All you have to do is go up to the little Apple icon and go to System Preferences. Then go back to System Preferences in the menu bar and hit Erase All Content and Settings. This will factory reset your Mac, removing everything from it and preparing it for your next owner. All you have to do is enter your password and it'll walk you through the reset and factory restore. So those are my favorite new features in macOS Monterey. There was one more feature that I didn't get to demo for you today and that is universal control. Universal control allows you to use your iPhone or your iPad and your Mac in tandem. Just plop your iPad or a second Mac next to your Mac with macOS Monterey and you can use a shared set of keyboard and mouse with both devices. I can move between the two. It is very easy to do. It makes it great for a desktop solution. But unfortunately, Apple won't be including universal control in the initial release of macOS Monterey. This will be coming soon, so stay tuned because I'll have a hands-on as soon as we get it available. But even though I haven't tried it yet, I already know it's going to be one of my favorite features. Let me know what your favorite new features are here in macOS Monterey and get downloading because it's available right now. Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU.